All right, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video and in today's video I'm actually gonna be reacting to some of my viewers setups and some of the setups that I checked out in this video were absolutely insane So make sure you stay tuned and watch all the way till the end and as always if you guys do enjoy make sure to like comment Subscribe helps me out a lot and I will see you guys on my PC All right guys, so I actually put out a tweet saying that I needed some setups to actually check out for the video So this is the tweet right here If you guys want to get involved in videos like this and you want to go follow my Twitter I'll have it in the description for you guys to check out uh, we're super close to 19k on that but uh, yeah we're gonna be checking out some of the setups here and then i'm gonna be giving them an overall rating out of 10 so starting off we got my fellow zen member zen foxy and already i gotta say this setup isn't like too over the top but it's super like classy i don't know how to describe it so i really like the triple monitor setup that he's going for right now but i feel like the only thing that could be improved is some sort of variation in the monitor layout such as maybe like a vertical monitor on the side which i don't know if that's really practical in terms of strictly editing if you aren't recording videos and stuff like that but i gotta say the pc on top of the entire setup on display just adds a crazy aesthetic look to the setup itself and i'm just a massive fan of it and the first thing that i noticed when i saw this picture was the azeron right here and i know a lot of people really like this so it'd be interesting to kind of see how foxy uses this in terms of his editing and workflow i really love the appearance of the setup i feel like the rgb could be distributed and kind of matched up a lot better i'm gonna give this setup a solid 8 out of 10. all right the next setup is actually from another fellow zen member zen libby and this setup is looking crazy i love this uh she's got the halloween kind of appearance the uh, wallpaper seems to be matching and just the orange throughout the entire setup is looking great i'm assuming there's some sort of rgb in the room that just allows for the orange vibrance around the setup itself and super clean super minimalistic not too much it looks like the go xlr mini on the desk itself which is a super nice uh, little accessory to have for your mic Microphone. The mic looks like a Shure SMP7. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, just the setup itself, the PC case with the transparent front and side panel looks amazing. And I really love the way that these monitors are laid out on the monitor arm. She's got the vertical, then the two horizontal, and just kind of the way that I suggested the last setup be. And even if we look off to the left here, we can see that there's an Xbox Series X setup along with the Nintendo Switch. This just looks like the best all around room that you can have for a gamer content creator. I'm gonna be giving this setup a nine out of 10 just because the color scheme is amazing. And it's just, I feel like the orange just ties everything together when it's all matching. And just all the peripherals just are so sleek, go well together, and they're also super nice. So I'm gonna be giving this setup a nine out of 10. Moving on, we got a setup from Valify and the first First thing I noticed from this setup is that he's probably a controller player and just uses keyboard and mouse when he needs to use the PC, I'm assuming. That's just a uh, assumption that I'm making. Uh, he's got my Twitter open right here. Shout out to the boy Valify for that. And uh, yeah, it just he's got a nice PC here. I'm not too sure about the specs, but just from appearance, he's got RGB fans at the front. They look like 120 millimeter fans. The HyperX mouse pad right here, I feel like could be maybe swap to something plain black to allow for the kind of the color coordination to look a lot better. He's got the blue here, the blue here, blue on the fans of the PC. The red just kind of throws it off in my opinion. Again, if you're working with a budget, not much that you're able to control. And then it seems like he has this part of the monitor stand underneath the mouse pad, which is what made me make the assumption that he plays controller. Cause that would be something that would kind of get in the way of you a lot if you were using your mouse and keyboard. But uh, yeah, setup's looking great for a single monitor setup. And uh, he's got the AirPods on the desk as well. Some little uh, mini desk decor. I'm going to give this setup a solid six and a half, seven out of 10. Obviously could be improved in terms of adding extra monitors, or increasing desk space. I'm not sure what chair he has. Definitely a lot better than what I started out with when I first got my PC. Yeah, six and a half, seven out of 10. Thank you, Valify, for your submission. All right, this next one is probably my favorite and it is from Sectastics. I'm pretty sure I said that right. This has to be one of the best minimalistic desk setups that I've seen in a long, long time. The first thing I noticed, obviously, was this PC right here, which is super sleek. It just looks amazing. Obviously, he's going for a kind of sunset to blue hybrid color scheme in the setup, which I think just looks great in terms of complementing and contrasting each other. And behind here, I bet not a lot of people would notice. This is an Xbox Series S, and it's a great console, great for fitting on your desk 
desk if you want a console to play 120 fps on for your console games if you're playing sports games or whatever but yeah it's this setup is, looks amazing he's got the model o right here he's got some sort of 60 percent keyboard and a wireless steel series i think this is just the different desk accessories such as this clock this plant he's got the mouse bungee here cable management is kind of taken care of at the back here and along the back of the monitor mount the monitors are mounted great they look like two either 24 inch or 27 inch not too sure he's got the mic mounted behind i'm not sure what mic this is but he's got it mounted to the monitor arm i believe which is a great way of doing it that's how i do my mic uh just allows you for it easily uh to adjust it and all that We've got the web camera here it looks like a c920 don't quote me on that but it looks like it this setup's insane super minimalistic and i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 just for its sleek design the only thing i would improve is i could see that he went for kind of this rgb compliment on the background of his his desktop right here but i think something either plain black or blue would look a lot better with the desk but sectastics great setup bro and uh, 9 out of 10 for me. All right, this next setup is from Tony. He's a Zen grinder. I can tell just from the wallpaper. He's got the hashtag ZenRC. He's got my YouTube pulled up on the second monitor. Shout out to bro. I can see he's watched these videos here. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty, pretty sleek for a beginner setup. I can tell it's a beginner setup, but he has made some upgrades along the way, which is great to see. He's got his PC on a cardboard box, I believe. I feel like there's not much you can do about it if you don't want to have it on the floor and you want to display it. It's a great way to kind of get it off the ground and just have it open in the line of sight for maybe your viewers or something like that if you're a youtuber but i can see that he has some sort of webcam here i'm just kind of looking along the top he has rgb strips uh which are great he's kind of guided the cable well he's got a little wall decor painting thing which kind of goes with the aesthetic of the setup itself which is really cool to see um maybe some rgb lighting on either side would just be a recommendation but obviously you don't have to if you're on a budget the hyperx quadcast rgb great great mic to have um looks really good in setups i believe this is a black model o the glossy it looks like or either the matte not too sure i can't really tell from uh this picture but really good mouse some sort of 60 percent keyboard right here i'm not sure if that's rk logo or hk gaming looks super good the two monitors i feel like the only thing that could be improved is either mounting them or getting two of the same size but it, i can also kind of see from the two bases that they don't really look detachable or something that you'd be able to put on a mount and they're also not necessarily frameless so it would kind of look awkward if they're put on a mount and he's got rgb mouse pad the only recommendation i would make is probably getting a bigger desk that way he can put his pc um off to to the side to the side of the other monitor or shifting everything to the right and then putting the pc on the left um but yeah it just everything looks great the color scheme looks pretty good other than i would say this blue mouse pad is kind of throwing everything off if there's a pink option i would do that or just switch to a normal mouse pad just a black or a white or some sort of maybe purple or blue but it looks super good i don't have many recommendations but keep on grinding for zen tony and um i'm gonna give this setup a 7 7.5 out of 10. all right and then we got jay ski setup right here this is looking super cool he's a zen grinder um interesting setup here he's got dual mounted monitors on an arm and the weird thing is he's got his mic in between them so i'm not sure what the point of that is necessarily maybe my biggest recommendation would be put it over top or to the side or underneath even just because it seems like there's a lot of clearance underneath that you could actually use towards allowing that mic to go through uh just kind of awkward in terms of mounting it i think that having the seamless look looks a lot better he's got his pc off to the side it looks like he replaced two fans in it so the fans don't really match that's uh one thing that i'd point out in terms of aesthetics ring light right behind the monitor it's probably mounted to the monitor stand um so that looks good keyboard i'm not sure what that is but i see another 60 percent at the top the keyboard that he's using right now actually matches well with his mouse pad that looks like a gutsy aiden mouse pad company mouse pad i'm not too sure and then he's got a razor mouse right there as well as i think that's a bungee could be wrong i'm gonna give this setup a solid seven as well just because i like the color scheme the only thing that looks awkward for me is the microphone thing which i don't know what the reason is for that but yeah it's pretty much that solid seven out of ten and then the last setup right here we got heron wilson uh he's got this setup which he's using davinci it looks like a just a single laptop with an external monitor that he uses and he probably just uses this as his main screen this is his second screen but i mean it's obviously really scuffed in terms of the setup it seems like everything's crammed in the corner as someone that has 
really deep understanding for people to have limited resources and ability to kind of affect their own setup it I, I think this is all you really need it looks like he's dedicated he's using davinci resolve so shout out to the boy uh best editing software out there for beginners um but yeah this just makes me happy looking at people like this trying to make it work with whatever they have uh it's just really cool thing to see it looks like he has a wii there as well so he can run up wii on his uh monitor whenever he wants other than that peripherals look great obviously probably my biggest recommendation would be whenever you get the chance upgrade to your own desk literally anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars. go look on facebook marketplace even you can find something super cheap and just kind of create your own space based around how you want it to feel and then from there eventually if you can maybe a pc maybe another monitor i'm gonna give this setup a solid 5.56 out of 10 but i mean i'm rating just on aesthetics and obviously this isn't the most aesthetic setup but i'm just really impressed and it just makes me super happy to see that you know they're making it work with what they have and uh obviously you know grinding editing their stuff on davinci resolve but yeah that's pretty much gonna do that shout out to heron wilson for actually submitting this for me to check out really cool setup man and uh yeah and if you guys want to be featured in a future video like this make sure you go check out my twitter drop a follow and turn on notifications so you can get notified when i put out a tweet looking for viewers to include in my videos and yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out